welcome you all in ashok it so in this video we are going to cover a basic tutorial on constructors in java so before we start please like this video and subscribe to our channel so let's get started so the first thing is what we cover so here we will uh, understand firstly exactly what is constructor in java followed by the uh, rules rules for using the constructor in java and then we will move ahead and learn the different types of constructor which are available in java and to understand them in a much better way we should try to execute some basic example based on all the three types of constructor in java followed by that we'll go through the constructor overloading and finally we should discuss the differences between the methods and constructors in java i hope i made myself clear with this now let's quickly begin with the first topic for today's discussion which is what is constructor in java so we create the constructor to initialize the object they have the same name as the class but have no specific return type so it can be used to set the initial values for the object and uh, this is similar to java method at the time of calling the constructor the memory is allocated for the object each class in java has a constructor uh, even if we don't uh, like create one java explicitly called a constructor with all the data member value set to 0 which is called as default constructor we shall discuss about the default constructor as well as other types of constructor in java in the upcoming concepts so for now let's understand when when exactly a constructor is called a constructor is called when an object or an instance is created so it's it for assigning the values depending on this in the same class so now with this we shall move ahead with the next topic that is the rules for constructors in java so there are four basic rules to use the constructors in java so the first one is the name of constructor should be same as that of class name so the second rule is that the constructor cannot be declared as final static synchronized or abstract the third rule says that it can have it cannot have an explicit return type and the lastly fourth rule a constructor can have access modifiers to control the access so these are the four important rules to use constructors in java so let's move ahead into types of constructors in java so basically there are four types of constructors we have a constructor signature default sig constructor parameterized constructor and non argument constructor so these are basically four and we first understand all three types that is default parameterized and non argument so first let's understand the default constructor so default constructor what is default constructor constructor with no arguments is called as default constructor if we do not create a constructor of a class so java create a default constructor with the data member which has values like zero null etc so now let's go to the simple program to understand the default constructor uh, code segment is the example of default constructor so here this ashok it is our constructor and you can see the name of our constructor is same as the name of our class now let's run this program and see the output so as you can see the program is successfully compiled and we got the output as expected now let's understand the next type of constructor the next type of constructor is no arg constructor 
a constructor with no argument is known as a no arg constructor the signature is same as the default constructor and if i uh, talk in a very normal language so a no arg constructor is like a recipe of making something simple that doesn't require any special ingredients it's like a set of steps to create a object without needing to provide any specific details so suppose if you want to bake a plain simple cookie the no arg constructor for making that cookie would be the recipe that says mix flour sugar butter and egg and make it in uh, some 360 degree fahrenheit for 30 minutes so in this case you know no like you don't need to specify anything about the cookie so that's how it is so now let's practice it so here you can see that we have a constructor ashok it but it is not empty since we already in written a function uh, inside this constructor that this is no arg constructor now let's try to execute this program and see the output as you can see the program has been successfully executed and this output is generated now let's move to the third type of constructor that is parameterized construct constructor next type of constructor is parameterized constructor okay constructor with arguments or we can see parameters is known as parameterized constructors we shall go through the example to understand the parameterized constructor so before that a parameter if i say in a easy way so it's like recipe of making something but this times you have you can choose your ingredients and you can customize it so that final product to your liking so it's like a set of instructions that allow you to create something specific by providing details of parameters so now let's go to that example in this particular code we can see the class name is ashok it and constructor called is also with the same name so here what i am creating i am creating two parameters that is id and name of the employee so i am invoking the constructor and i am creating two object object 1 and object 2 with the id of the employee 387277 and name as ram and id 2 is 16426 with name as krishna okay so now let's run this program and see the output so now we can see the uh, this program is successfully executed and for the both the object we got it successfully successfully created and you can check id is assigned to id and name is assigned to name okay okay so now let's understand method overloading so constructor overloading is like a method over overloading so constructors can be overloaded to create objects in different ways uh, the compiler differentiate the constructors based on how many arguments are present in the constructor and other parameters like the order in which arguments are passed so we can execute a basic example based on constructor overloading so here this particular class has a constructor so uh it here it copies the value from one object to other and invokes the object to this constructor now let's try to execute this program and see the output so you can see the program has been successfully executed here and what we got we got the website that is the new website of ashok it and out it out this output is displayed okay let's move to next concept now so let's move ahead to the next concept that is the difference between the constructor and a method so now the first difference is the name so method name need not to be same as the class name but when it comes to constructors the method name should be same as the class name followed by the uh, second statement second difference is that method always has a return type whereas constructor does not have any return type okay followed by that we have the third and the last difference that is you can call a method any number of times but when it comes to constructor a constructor can be called when an object is created so with this we can come to end of this session 
if you have any queries related to the session so please feel free to write in the comment section till then thank you and wish you all a happy learning okay please like this video and share it with your friends Thank you.